Here we have a slightly used 2022 GMC Savannah Explorer conversion van. So this van sits on a Savannah 2500 cargo chassis. Comes in Summit white and then we have the custom pewter leather appointed seats. And the powertrain on this van consists of a 6.6 .6 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. And that's made it to a six speed heavy duty automatic transmission. And this one has just a little over, a little under 5,000 miles, I believe. But as we come to the front end here, we do have a great look as part of the Explore conversion from Explore. They get this nice black grill. We have the LED fog lights that aren't on, the halogen headlight, headlamps, those aren't on either, but just love the overall stance of it, especially having that high top there, it just looks really good. And then around on the wheels here, we get these custom 20 inch wheels. And you have that kind of galvanized aluminum finish. I love that. And then just everything's blacked out. You have the dark tinted glass in the back. And then to the door panel here, door lock controls. And then one touch down for the driver's side, just a regular power window for the front passenger. And then our power mirror controls are here. You can pick the right side, left side, or offset in the middle here. And then you can adjust either side there. And then the control for the power door locks is there. It's lock unlock we have a nice jbl surround sound system storage in the pocket there headlamp controls and then foot pedal brake push down to, to engage and then pull this to release and then here's the hood release there and we do get a power driver's seat and power front passenger seat i'll show you where those controls are because they're on the inside there Fuel cap is there. I'm trying to get through all the the less interesting stuff before we get to the, the cool stuff, which is gonna be the inside of this van, of course. There's the back seat and we know this folds down. So if you wanna turn it into a sleeper, you can do that. And I like the seven passenger setup the best just because you get the most room to fold this bad boy down. And then you can also power recline it forward and back if you want to, if you're just gonna use it as a couch. And of course we have the seat back, the huge seat back pocket there for additional storage. Tons of storage on the side as well. And a 12 volt here. And then we do have a tow hitch. So depending on what you're trying to pull, this will pull quite a bit. I'll try to find the exact specs and put it in the description. But now to the inside. Of course, we do have the blinds throughout, so you can just pull those back and forth. So you pull from the top here and then from the bottom on that side there. A pretty good leg room in here. We have zippable seat back pockets on both sides. And then we have the top pockets as well. We get a nice TV screen too. And then we can access our Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime, all of that through SmartCast. And we also have a Blu-ray player, which is down below here. And then you have one more outlet if you want to hook up your PlayStation or Xbox, you have an HDMI port and then a 120 volt there. And that's a wireless charging pad, bottle holders. And then here's where you can power recline the seat, tilt it, and then kind of pump it up or down and move the seat back or forth there. And then heated seat toggle there. I mean, there's just so much in here. I just kind of want to get as much as I can. 
show how everything works, all the sounds and everything. We have the, I love the, the skylights there on the sides. And then we also have those ceiling lights as well. Just a great overall presence this thing has. You just feel like a million bucks in it. And then two USB-A ports here. Both sides, vents in the floor. Of course, illuminated cup holders. This is the life right here. I could, I could definitely take one of these if somebody gave it to me. <laughs> and then we also have the power running boards, which are a nice touch. And then to the front passenger seat here, again, I showed you those power controls. But I put the headlights on so y'all can see those. And then underneath the hood, there's that 6.6 .6 liter V8. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So nice leather wrap steering wheel here. I like how they did that. There's the horn there. And then over here to the radio, we do have AM, FM, XM. And then we also have an aux input, USB port, and then a CD drive. And then volume can adjust there. We can turn the system off and then presets are here the eq we can do all of that and the actual aux input is right there now for a backup camera we do get this rear camera mirror it takes up half of the actual rear view mirror nice option there and then our ac control is just manual but pretty easy to get that engaged there temperature can be adjusted fan speed and then we can heat those side mirrors there another big plus is we do have the the tow mirror, as well as the blind spot monitors. So I love having that. 12 volts here, tow haul mode can be engaged there. Traction control, OnStar, another 120 volt, three prong plug in there, USB-A port, and then a 12 volt. That USB-A is what runs off of that. And then you can enable the running boards by flipping that switch. Three bottle holders up here. And then storage in the middle, which is a nice touch. And then we have the original window sticker here. This doesn't include all of the options that Explorer put on it, but that's just what it stickered before the upfit. And what's great is after everything that's been put on here, this one with 4837 in terms of mileage, you still are only having to pay. I think this one's listed at 68,000 right now. There's a view of the back and then our rear AC controls there. Here are all the switches for the lights and whatnot. And then there is our vanity mirror. Now to put the vehicle in gear, pull, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you have your manual and then you can shift there and then you have your gear one right there. And then volume controls here. You can toggle your sources here, XM, AM, FM. And then you can go through tracks or radio stations there. And then this is actually to go through the presets and then voice recognition controls here. Cruise control, cancel, we can resume and do all of that. And then you have a manual tilt wheel there. Blinkers, intermittent wipers. And we can toggle our high beams there. And then windshield wiper fluid by doing that and then we can go through our gauge cluster down there so this is a trip meter here and you can see by the fuel economy this is actually getting pretty good fuel mileage at 14.2 miles a gallon you can toggle your parking sensors tire pressure monitors blind spot monitors all of that right in there trying to think about missing anything else i think that's pretty much it there's the key fob with remote start and then next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2500 explorer conversion van out on the road for a test drive
So starting the test drive in this 2500 Explorer conversion van, this GMC Savannah here, ride quality is pretty good. And you know, cargo vans tend to ride pretty smoothly just based on the wheelbase, suspension, just how they're made. But having the leather seats here, just having more of a, a plush ride overall just makes it that much more enjoyable. Now with the 23 models, I've seen, I've driven a couple actually that have the V6 Vortec and some of those have tunes and whatnot. Those are pretty fun to drive as well, but there's just something about hearing the roar of this, this V8 here. I'm gonna give it a little throttle here. Yeah, I love that sound. I'm gonna enable the cruise here. So ride quality is pretty good. And again, you're getting 14.2 miles per gallon average. At least that's what this van is seen with almost 5,000 miles. And it's actually pretty easy to drive. Now it is top heavy, so you wanna keep that in mind. And there is wind noise and a little bit of road noise, but for the most part, just an enjoyable van to drive. Especially for your passengers, just going across country, things of that nature, if you ever want to do that. This is the one of the best ways to do it, in my opinion. Now, I like these Explorer conversion vans. They kind of have a feel of nostalgia, first and foremost, but also they're just so much cheaper than getting a comparable Sprinter. And you can say what you will about the powertrains. I think the new Sprinters now have the four cylinder turbos, which are great engines. They're very capable, but a lot of people just want to have a, a traditional V8 in their conversion van. And with this one being 68,000, people are trying to get 150, 160,000 used on a, you know, a comparable 22 Sprinter van. And then a lot of people think the, um, the Ram ProMaster conversions are too small. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons that GM hasn't brought a, a refresh to this in so long is because people are still using them as cargo vans. The conversion companies are still selling these like hotcakes. And then so many of the customers just trust the 6.6 .6 liter V8. And I think we'll see if they come out with a 24 version, 25 version, or if they go electric. But they put the Vortec Max V6 in a lot of these now, in the 23 models. A lot of people are kind of skeptical about that, but I just, I've always liked the Vortec engines. They just, they have a great sound to them. They're just, they're simple. No turbos or anything crazy going on. Just, it gets the job done. But if you don't want to go the traditional route of maybe having an RV or paying all this money to get a conversion done, getting one from Explore or some of the other conversion companies is the best way to go, in my opinion, again, because you can tow a certain amount with these. You can pretty much fit them in a regular parking lot. You might have to take up a couple spaces, but it's not like having to park a, an RV or something or a big truck. This is pretty easy to drive if you're used to just driving a normal SUV, even a car. It's longer, but visibility in here is good. Again, it's not overly huge. It just has just enough space so that you can take road trips in style. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2022 GMC Savannah 2500 Explorer conversion van.